guys. So yesterday we read this book, Spiders, and it's for, by Nat Geo Kids. And then today we read this book, The Very Busy Spider. Now there were some things that were the same and things that were different in both of them. And that's what we're going to do with this diagram today. So this one is labeled spiders. So this circle is for anything that has to do with spiders, just this book. This one is the very busy spider. And we're going to put anything that is just for the very busy spider in this circle. Now, if the sentence is about both, like it could be for both books, we're going to put it in the middle. So we're going to do a couple um, of these together, and then you're going to do the rest on your own. So you either need to find somebody to read them to you if you can't read them to yourself, but make sure that you do your own work and decide, was it about spiders, the very busy spider, or was it about both? So down here, we've got our little spider down here. It says, it tells where spiders live. Was that about just the real spider book? Was it about the very busy spider or was it about both? Both of them told me that, that this one talked about the spider living on the farm. This one talked about where spiders live all over the place, right? So they both talked about that. What about um, this one? It says, it's about spiders. Was this book about spiders? Yes. Was this book about spiders? Yes. So where are we going to put this one? Probably right here in the middle, right? It takes place on a farm. Did this one take place on a farm? No. Did this one take place on a farm? Yeah, it did. So we're going to put it in this circle. Okay. So now you can finish this up. I'm going to put these back so that you can um, mess with those too. And you're going to finish up this diagram by putting the sentences in the correct place. Okay. So make sure that you're thinking, is it about this book? Is it about this book? If it's yes to both, it goes in the middle. If it's no to this one and yes to this one, we're going to put it here. Okay. This is called a Venn diagram. What's it called? Venn diagram. Good. Now, it's your turn. Go ahead and read the sentences and sort them out. Bye, guys.